Okay, I want to quickly show you how to change out your new style Masa Auger. Our brand new, most up-to-date Masa Auger comes with, in a box, when you receive it, you'll receive a box like this, and it will have in it a Masa Auger with a threaded shaft coming out the front, just like we've converted our old, old one to, um, but it has a threaded shaft, and you'll get the, t the adjustment knob and then the locking knob. And then you'll also get a key pin. So if, you, if it's your first time, you'll want to refer back to the video on how to remove the pin, how to take the handle out and remove the pin. And it's really simple. And to convert your, uh, your mill to the removable pin style. But once you get your Masa Auger and you have removed your pin from your previous old style, um, your, your original auger, then it's, this is how simple it is. You're going to take the handle off, like you saw in one of the first videos. You're going to remove the, the key pin, which is just a pull pin. And then you're going to take the washer off the back. That's the protective washer. You're going to want to make sure and, and put that back in every time. You're going to slide the regular auger out. And this is your dry auger, or the auger that you use for most of your dry things. And you're going to notice the difference in shape. This auger is an aggressive auger that pulls the nut butters and the masa, the wet things through. This uh, is the regular auger and it's just meant to feed. So um, you're going to pull that, the old auger out or the regular auger out and then you're going to slide your new masa auger in to place. You're going to replace the protective washer and slide in the pull pin. And that's as simple as that is. So now your masa auger is in place and you're ready to do nut butters or um, wet masa, corn, things like that. Now, I, most of the time you're going to want to use your steel burrs with the masa auger. So I'm going to just show you how that works. And uh, so we'll put the steel burrs in place right now. And... You'll note that I haven't been using the uh, flower guide, which you will want to use, but just for ease of showing you how this works, I have not been putting it in place. You're going to slide, always slide the washer onto the front, and like I've told you before, when you use the adjustment knob, you want the side with the, with the hump on the side, uh, sticking forward. One side is smooth, the other side has a, about a half inch or a quarter inch hump on it. The hump goes in towards the mill, towards the, and you simply dial that in, get it to where you want it roughly. Then the same thing with the adjustment locking knob. It also has a little ridge or a hump on it, and you put that hump in. And then once you decide where you want your nut, if you're making nut butter, butter for instance, and you wanted a coarse nut butter, maybe you want a gap about like that. Then you simply hold your nut, uh, adjustment knob, lock it into place, and it will maintain that much of a gap every time you use it. If you want it tighter, you lo loosen the adjustment locking knob, tighten it up to where you want it, and then lock that, and that'll maintain that, that particular fineness or coarseness. It's that simple. Um, and that's how you change your augers back and forth. You simply remove the stones or the burrs, pull the pull pin, and interchange the augers. It's a very simple process.